guys, it's Luke from FLC Productions. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this style icon in Photoshop. Now this is a Flash CS4 icon, and we're going to be creating this in Photoshop CS4. Um, as you can see right here, we have the real Adobe Flash icon. I don't have the font correct, or I don't have the exact font. I think it's a custom font. If you know the font that they use, please post a comment below. I'm actually kind of interested in that. So now what we're going to do is going to go to File, New. We're going to make a 512 by 512. This is a standard large icon. Hit OK. Alright, now we have a clean slate. To start, we're going to make a gradient um, as the background. I already have a gradient up here, but we're going to, this is a rough gradient. What we want to do is we're going to double click on the right hand side. We're going to give a, a sort of mid-tone kind of dark red and if you were doing this with like Photoshop you'd have a mid-tone dark blue. Now we're going to hit OK. In this light one we're going to make it a little more saturated by pulling it over to the other other side. As you can see the farther you go to the left the less saturated it gets. Alright that looks good. Looks really good. Now we're going to hit OK. Now what we could do, we can just pull down, hit shift, but we're not going to want that. We're going to want to go from from here, one third the way in, click, and go to two thirds the way in, to about here. And it's going to give us a semi-diagonal gradient. It, and we're just going to want that because it looks, it looks better than the normal like up and down gradient and it's not fully diagonal it's kind of in between somewhere now we're going to create a new layer and or not a new layer we're just going to create a new text layer by going to the text tool or pressing T on your keyboard and a click and then write F L and the settings I have here are Helvetica and bold and the font size doesn't really matter for right now like if we wanted to we could um create it like larger well, we don't really need that because we're going to be creating it larger anyway. Alright, and a little bit larger. Oops. Hold shift to constraint to keep it to the same size. Otherwise, you're going to get stuff like that or like that. And just hit command or control Z to undo. Hit enter to rasterize. Yeah, let's try to line it up pretty good. All right, that looks good. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to double click. We're going to go to color overlay. Now we don't want it to be red because that would look awful. We're going to select not a full black and not a full like gray. Somewhere in between so and very close to black. That looks good. Now we're going to create an inner shadow to make it look like it's going in like it's indented. So now what we're going to want to do is we have the inner shadow selected. I already have some pretty good settings. You want this to be full black. You can have multiply. We're going to have normal. Um, we're going to bring up the size just a tad bit to about 15. Uh, that's fine. Now the choke and distance. The choke we're going to want to about 10, 12, somewhere on there. And the distance, we're going to want it to be... Uh, let's have the distance at like 1 or so. That looks good. So as you can see, we've created the flash icon. Very simple, very easy. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll talk to you later.